Hi, I'm Ron Kine. You know, as I've been back home traveling through western Wisconsin, I've been hearing from a lot of people wondering whether we face a government shutdown. Now, there's no question that we've got to make some tough decisions with the budget deficits that we're facing. But the only way for this to get resolved is for us to come together, talk, listen to each other, and work hard to find common ground in order to make those smart decisions as opposed to bad decisions that may hurt economic growth and job creation at this crucial moment for our nation. You know, investments in key areas like education, like science research, expansion of broadband connection, the infrastructure needs that we have are things that can create jobs in the short term, but also enable longer term economic growth and put us on a sustainable path of good job creation again. I'm concerned, however, with some of the proposed cuts that are being talked about. Deep cuts in education, which will harm our students and make it more difficult for our kids to go on to college or technical school. The drastic cutbacks in science investment, the research that we need to do to remain the most innovative, creative, and competitive nation in the entire world. Now, I, too, have been offering spending cuts in the course of this budget debate. One of my amendments would have eliminated two weapons programs that the Pentagon keeps telling Congress to stop appropriating money for. They don't want it, they don't need it, it won't help our troop readiness, and it would save the taxpayers $15 billion if we eliminate these old Cold War systems. Another amendment would end this new taxpayer subsidy that is now going to Brazil cotton producers, all because we refuse to reform our own cotton subsidy program in America. We're wasting over $100 million, $150 million with this new subsidy going to Brazil agribusiness when what we should be doing is reforming the farm programs, helping our family farmers, and finding cost savings to get these deficits under control. It'll be an ongoing conversation, and I'm looking for your feedback. You can go to my website and offer your own suggestions on what we can do to reduce spending in a smart fashion to get these deficits under control, while also creating the growing dynamic job environment that our nation needs today.